Hello and welcome to this tutorial on ScreenMonkey, a powerful multimedia presentation program written by software designer Oliver Waits. I'm Raymond Jones and today you've come to one of our tutorials on managing media clips in ScreenMonkey. In this tutorial we will cover loading and organizing clips on the ScreenMonkey dashboard. Now, here we have ScreenMonkey's main window and in the main window is the dashboard. There are various ways to load clips on ScreenMonkey's dashboard. One way is to click on any empty square and you will see a Create Clip menu that will open. On the right side, you can choose from different media types that ScreenMonkey supports. In this case, I'd like to add an image. So I click on Image and I can click OK or I can simply double click for convenience. Now then I browse to the folder where my media is kept and then I select the media. Choose OK or again I could double click and ScreenMonkey will load the clip into that box on the dashboard. Another way to load clips is to click on any empty box on the dashboard and the Create Clip menu will open. If I choose Open File from the left then I have a, an Add Files, Add Folders, and Delete button, and a queuing box where I can load multiple media files at one time and then add those all at once into ScreenMonkey. Now let's say that you have all of your media in one folder, then choose Add Folder, direct ScreenMonkey to that folder, and then ScreenMonkey will load all of those files into this queuing area. In my case, however, I want to select files out of a group, so I'm going to choose Add Files. Then I can click on the file that I want. Now, if I want to load more than one file at a time, I can press Shift on the keyboard and select the last file and select all of the files in this group. However, if I want to select some out of the group, I can click on a file and then press down the Control key and select various files within the group. Then I click on Open and ScreenMonkey loads these files into the queuing area. Now, what if while looking at the queuing area I discover there's a file that I didn't want in my presentation? It's pretty simple. Click on the media and then click Remove. It will be removed from the queue. Once I have everything the way that I want it, I click OK and ScreenMonkey loads those two media as clips on the dashboard. Yet another way to load clips onto the dashboard is to go to any empty square, right click, and choose Add Clip from the pop-up menu. You'll notice that to the right now slides out a menu of all the different kinds of media types that ScreenMonkey supports. In my case, I would like to add a video. So I choose video. ScreenMonkey will then direct me to the location. I look for my videos. And now I choose the clip, choose the media type, and then press open. ScreenMonkey now loads the video. Now there's yet another way, and that is the drag and drop method. For the drag and drop method, I want to go to Start Computer, or if you're not Windows, maybe you're going someplace else, and go to the browsing window. On the browsing window, I can search for my media. In this case, I have a file I've created called ScreenMonkey Data. Inside of ScreenMonkey Data, I'm looking for an audio file. Here I have some audio files. Now I can select an audio file and I can shift click or control click to select multiples. In this case I'm going to control click and take these two and then if I click and hold on those files and drag them from the browsing window onto ScreenMonkey's dashboard. When I release ScreenMonkey loads those clips to the dashboard so that they are ready for sh presentation in my show. Here are a couple more tips when it comes to working with clips on ScreenMonkey's dashboard. Let's say you've already put together a show and whenever you open the show and you start to use it, you find 
that there's a red X in this film strip design that is on a clip. This means that Screen Monkey cannot locate the file that is associated with this clip. Is that a problem? Not really. If you simply just try to play the media, Screen Monkey will prompt you with a repair clip option. So, we want to repair. So we choose Yes, and Screen Monkey will open a browsing window. In the browsing window, you can navigate and find the, the media new location. Here's the file, so I select the file and choose Open, and Screen Monkey now repairs the clip so that the clip is associated with the correct media for its type. Now, Screen Monkey also offers a Repair All option. In Repair All, Screen Monkey will attempt to repair other media clip types with the information that you provide from the first clip. This is really handy if you have more than one media file that's been moved to a different location. Now, another option that you see on my dashboard is that you see Clip Names. Clip Names gives you the ability to add your own label to a clip as it appears in its clip square on Screen Monkey's dashboard. To use this feature, you must enable Show Clip Names in the setting panel for Screen Monkey. To activate Show Clip Names, right-click anywhere on the dashboard, and from the pop-up menu, choose Settings. On the General tab, you'll notice that there's under Clip Preview a box Show Clip Names. Simply mark this box, and now Show Clip Names is an enabled feature in Screen Monkey. Once you have Show Clip Names enabled, you can right-click right click on a clip on the dashboard and choose from the menu rename in rename you can give this clip a new name we'll call this animation intro and choose OK there you have it you can name each and every one of the media clips that you have so that you can navigate through them easily knowing which one is which media you wish to play